All right, hello everyone, and greetings from Osage Beach, Missouri. This probably seems like a little bit of a broken record now, as I've done quite a few room tours at Tantera, but we're here once again. So the reason I've done so many room tours at Tantera is because there's so many cool rooms at this resort. It's a really wonky, like, mid-century resort with tons of little outbuildings. Every time you get a new unit here, it's always something new and different and cool. So Jason and I are actually in the mid-Missouri area this weekend and decided to use this as our uh, sort of like jumping off point, our hotel. And I made a point of it because I know the place pretty well to request a room in one of these funny little off buildings, like these cabins that are kind of down behind the, uh, the main A building where the lobby is. I believe these are some of the oldest rooms on the property. They certainly have that look. And they gave us probably the coolest unit at the whole hotel here. So in this funny little off building, there's actually two units. You can see there's 302 on the second floor. And confusingly, we're in 303, which is on the bottom floor. But it's a little more complicated than that, as you'll see inside. So we'll take a little bit of a closer look here. So one of the first interesting things about this is that there's actually a boat slip. Now, this definitely doesn't look like it's anything that's in use anymore. In fact, it probably hasn't been for some time. But I guess at one point, you could get a boat and bring it right into the unit. So, it's a nice little wiring down here, too. It's like this door that's... What the heck? <laughs> it's Tantera, who knows? Yeah. All right, technically it's Margaritaville, but whatever. You can see there's some cool buildings here, like this one with the stained glass, another little off building here. So there's a second unit that is on the top floor only. And then our unit, which, spoiler alert, covers both floors. It's a very strange split. So I'm going to try to use this little wristband key card that they gave us. And we will enter. So the location of this building is awesome because you have the lake on essentially three sides. Anyway, if you walk in, there's a funny little vestibule right here. Jason for scale. <laughs> there's a light that doesn't work. Yeah. Got a little window in the front. And a funny closet that's just kind of down here. Actual room door seems to pass the Jacob security test. I mean, there's no fire map, but there's two units in this building, so what do you expect? <laughs> just run outside if there's a fire. Got a keychain lock, deadbolt, peephole, a nice little paint chip on the door, and a magnetic do not disturb sign. Well, that's hiding a bigger paint chip behind it. <laughs> anyway, there's your light that doesn't work. I also like this tiny curtain. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. But we'll pan out and look at the rest of the room. And clearly, this is one of the older units on the property. It's been renovated lightly with a little bit of Margaritaville theming, but there's a lot of original like mid-century features in here. Most notably this stone wall and this stair rail that still remain. So as you walk in, there's a small little seating area, which I have to admit, this Margaritaville furniture with like the sea theme actually does blend in fairly well with the architecture here. Surprisingly so. And then as we look into the rest of the room, there's a little kitchenette area. Is this really a kitchenette? Does this count? I mean, I guess it does. You've got... A little mini fridge that needs to be defrosted quite badly. This very old looking cooktop. It's a, a thermidor. And how much stuff's gonna burn off of it? It does work. Pretty cool though. Got this little itty bitty kitchen sink. It's more like a wet bar sink. This almost is like a hybrid between a wet bar and a kitchenette. Somewhere between the two. Got an older looking microwave here, which is clean. Got your single pod coffee maker. It's not a Keurig, it's like a knockoff Hamilton Beach one. Let's see what we got in the cabinets. Oh, I got your oh. plates oh, and look. bowls. Tantera, there you go. <laughs> you can still find those everywhere. But uh, they have like a full inventory of everything that's supposed to be in here. So you've got these very plain looking plates, bowls. There is. Uh, Thing with a uh, kind of sad looking collection of a few glasses. <laughs> Full flatware. I'm actually impressed. Like, they did equip this to be an actual kitchen. They've got some cooking utensils hiding in the back there, and some sharper knives, spatula, spoon. There's a toaster. You have a toaster. You have some cookware in here, too. Oh, some wow. very, Ew. very terrible Ew. looking cookware. <laughs> 
What happened to these? <laughs> Ew. What is that? I don't even... It looks like calcium build It does. It's really weird. That's, ew, I wouldn't use those. I wouldn't either. I'm not sure what they're thinking leaving those in here. My guess is that nobody really cooks in here anymore. Right. So... Oh, you got soap? Yep. Dish you have a half-used uh, thing of dish soap and another full one and a little, like, teary towel thing. All right. I mean, I would definitely request some new cookware if you actually wanted to cook in here, but you could do it if you really wanted to. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, from here, what is this? We have two lights that are on dimmer switches. I guess this one... Probably controls whatever used to be on that little socket up there on the ceiling. Yep. The, other one does the, the other one does those two lights that oh, are clearly not actually dimmable LEDs. One of them dims, the other doesn't, really. So, anyway, this living room, I think, is kind of like the showpiece of this unit. Just because uh, they arranged it in a way, I actually like this. That even though the TV mounting is sloppy, and we'll look at that in a second, I love how they managed to mount it in a way where the sofa could look out at the uh, view of the lake. So you can just sit here and enjoy the view and watch TV at the same time if you really wanted to. So Jason can report back to us and let us know how nice the sofa is, because this is the sofa sleeper. This is where I get to sleep. <laughs> Some nice stains on the uh, couch cushions, so we're off to a solid start. This thing looks like... Okay, I mean, I see there's a mattress protector and a mattress in here. I don't see any other linens, so we're probably going to have to call and get you linens for the sofa sleeper, because I haven't seen them anywhere else in this unit. We also haven't really looked, either. They weren't in that closet down here, and I figured that would have been the place. I might as well pull it out and see what it looks like. Let's do it. I have to do it at some point. Jason kind of took one for the team here because I wanted to book one of these units down here and none of them have two beds, so... I get the room discount. Yeah, I gave him a little discount on the room so he could deal with this. Ooh, my back will be nice and sore tomorrow. <laughs> it's worth it for this cool unit, right? <laughs> so, but yeah, that's a pullout. I mean, the actual mattress doesn't look too bad, at least. There's some Mardi Gras beads down there if you want to be festive. See? It feels like a typical sofa sleeper mattress. <laughs> Jason's like dreading tonight probably. Oh, there's the bar that's going to break my back. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you Jason for enabling this to happen, <laughs> seeing this cool unit. Speaking of units, there's a PTAC unit over here that looks like it is missing its filters. Because I can just look straight into the casing here. And boy, the need to have its filters reinstalled because that is dusty. They're yeah. ruining, like this is actually a newer GE PTAC unit and they're ruining it by running it without filters. Bad guy. I'm sure somebody took them out to clean them and just forgot to reinstall them. Probably. So someone will figure that out next time they come through to do those. One cool feature that I'll give Jason credit for finding, we noticed on this window, like look at this wood beam on the top and how old this actually looks. I'm sure being next to the lake for presumably like 50, 60 years will take a toll. There's a fireplace over here. Now, I do remember, to date myself a little bit, but staying in these units many years ago, they used to let you use the fireplaces and actually would give you firewood in the off-season. I'm guessing that is a policy that has gone away at some point. That or the chimney in this particular unit got condemned. One of the two. It's a cool little fireplace, though. It's kind of a shame they don't give that to you anymore. That would have been cool. Yeah. Because it's just cool enough out where we could do that. Yeah. I love how it's like angled. In fact, you could even see the smoke that's come out of it mm -hmm. while it's, it's been in use in the past. Yeah. So I'm not crazy. They did used to let you use these things. Then you have like the world's weirdest patio. It's like a wedge. Like, you know, it comes out to a point and then goes in where the boat slip is. And we'll step out here and take a better look and that'll also give you a better idea of the layout of this unit. There's actually a decent amount of room out here. It's got carpet too. They could use to get some better patio furniture. But, uh, yeah, you can walk all the way out to the point. You can see our boat slip that we were looking at from the front out there. And then this second unit that's upstairs, basically, I guess they go up the stairs over to there. It must open up the little vestibule. The room is probably just like a regular hotel room. And just on this side above our living room. And they get a patio in front of the bedroom for this unit. What a weird design. 
I can't imagine why they thought it was easier to do this weird split level setup instead of just having like the one bedroom unit on the top floor and making this a normal hotel room down here. But whatever the case may be, it's really interesting and kind of cool to see. The other thing you can see over there is the Windrose building. Looks like it's getting a pretty serious renovation. They've taken all the deck railings off. Looks like they're repainting it. And then from down here, you get a nice view of the resort's marina. They rent boats over there during the, uh, well, actually from that section you're looking at right there during the on season. And I believe these are the private boat slips that they rent out over here to people that own boats and live in the estates complex next door. And that seagull just got a fish. There you go. Look at that. He got a fish. Sounds like another seagull is jealous. They're like mine. Mine. <laughs> The other thing that's worth noting is that this is a very old sliding door, it's also a huge door too. and it works pretty well. Nice thing is too, it has a security bar, so I want to lock Jason out there, I can. Yeah, I have to go swimming. I literally would have to go swimming to get in. Look how many people have like scuffed that up closing this over the years. But no, I mean, clearly there's things that could be improved, like, you know, the dirty sofa, Here some things that are a little bit run down. system. Yeah. The TV mounting leaves a bit to be desired here. I like the antenna that's like bent. <laughs> oh, we control the Wi-Fi for this building apparently. Yeah. I'm curious to see if we get neighbors. Even though it's the off season, this place looks like it's hopping today. There's some convention or something here, so we might get somebody sharing the building with us. We'll see what the soundproofing is like, I guess. Another funny thing I just thought about. Well, first off, they give you complimentary water, which is kind of nice. It's Margaritaville branded, actually. But they give you an ice bucket. Now, where do you go to get ice? Presumably the closest place would be to walk all the way up this hill and go into that building up there. Oh, there's Jacob's head. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that they give you an ice bucket. I mean, I guess if you wanted to go on a little adventure, you could go get ice. Yeah. So anyway, we're 12 minutes into this, and we haven't even gone up the stairs yet, because it's that kind of unit. Yep. Also, oh. it's not tall people friendly. You yeah. will bang your head on that. Seat. I guess this is where I was actually thinking before they didn't have like the rules and regulations, but instead of putting it on the door, they put it way back here for some reason. And because we're in mid Missouri, we have tornado warning stuff on here. Yeah, if a tornado hits this building, you're just dead. I think that's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> See, I'll try not to bump my head. You have that light that has like a zillion dead bugs in it up here. So this is a connecting door to Unit Three Hundred Two. It's locked, unfortunately. So we can't see what's in there, as cool as it would be to see the other unit in here. But I guess they could sell this as a two-bedroom unit if they open this connecting door. Yep. I wonder if they ever do. So up here is the single bathroom that this unit has. It's uh, not really a whole lot to see. they still got a working heat lamp, though, which is kind of cool. It also makes a buzzing noise, <laughs> so I'll probably turn that back off. But they put in, like, one of these newer style mirrors with a built-in light. I mean, you know, these plumbing fixtures, this kind of looks like something that was probably redone in the 90s. It's still serviceable. Actually, the, like, free bath amenities are a little nicer than what you typically will get. So I'll give them some props for that, too. It has one of those, like, clothes, or whatever these things are. Yeah, clothes lines. Yeah, probably clothes. so you can dry out, you know, like, uh, swimsuits during yep. the season. Mm-hmm. So, something you saw in a lot of older hotels. Got your toilet over here. Tell you what, since I got Jason here, I'm sure Andrew will watch this at some point. We got to actually flush the toilet. I probably got a reaction of like, ooh. Yep, that's exactly what I was just thinking. Here's the clothesline. If you couldn't see it from my view before, you'd stretch that all the way across and hook it in over there. Got one of these Niagara shower heads. Those are usually pretty decent, actually. <laughs> Look how this bath, like the tap comes out. That's actually pretty funny. Oh, oh it, it shoots out here. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like see what it... out of the shower thing. Shower head actually works pretty well, though. And uh, all that nonsense stops when you turn the shower on, at least. So, caulking is actually pretty decent. Grout looks okay. It's it's a little old and worn, but, you know, it's serviceable. And then here is the bedroom. 
So this is a you know, one bedroom unit with one king bed. And I am the king this time. <laughs> so this actually looks like a pretty decent bed You're first on off. TV up here too. Yep. It's actually a very large TV sitting on this piece of furniture where it looks like the top has come off, so it's just gonna slide around. Yep. This is just resting on top. I think they tried to take some older furniture and kind of recondition it by the looks of things. Got a second closet over here, which also does not have linens for the pull-out sofa, so I'll call and get some of those for you. Uh, got a little luggage rack. Oh, look, we get bathrobes. <laughs> That's something you never see anymore. Got that same view over toward the Windrose building. I was wondering why they didn't give us windows out toward the lake up here, and then I realized, duh, it's because they have the, uh, the patio sitting in front of this wall. What a wonky setup. This bed looks pretty inviting at a glance. Uh, linens actually look like they're very high quality. Five pillows. It's kind of crazy. They're good pillows, too. The heck? I don't know why this thing moved around so much when I moved the pillow. But, uh... Now, this actually looks quite nice. High quality sheets. Let's see, what have we got here? It's uh, triple sheeting. So we got our top sheet, comforter in the middle. Comforter does look clean. This is one of those beds where it's kind of nice because there's no warning signs at a glance, so I probably don't have to completely tear this apart. Mattress. Well, it definitely gives a lot, I'll give it that. Feels like it's a little bit older, but it's very plush. Maybe not the most supportive. Yeah, this is definitely an older mattress. Yeah. <laughs> it's an older mattress, but it looks like it's a clean older mattress. Yep. Nice a little stain. bit of a sweat stain there. Yeah. This mattress probably should have been replaced a few years ago. Mm -hmm. At least the sheets are fine, though. Yeah. Sheets are fine. It's got a mattress cover. I don't really want this pillow resting on top of the... Uh, questionable mattress. They do the old-fashioned mattress covers here that aren't even, like, fitted. This place has a lot of holdovers of being an old resort, which mm. adds its own little charm in a way. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't even really know what to say to sum this one up. This is a cool place to the right person. Like, we're both in here nerding out because it's like, oh, look at this cool uh, mid-century yeah. building. Oh, it's <laughs> funny because you're down by yourself. and The location on the lake is really cool. And the room, I would say, is completely serviceable. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely. I could list off about ten things that would make this nicer. But I really like this resort, obviously. It's always fun to come and explore new rooms here. I like it. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Jason likes it. Yeah, it's cool. So, yeah, like for the right kind of person with the right attitude. In fact, there it is in the wall. Changes in attitude. You kind of need that here. It could be a fun place to stay. But as always, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I guess you can check out Jason's, like, second take of this same video as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, one other thing that's kind of funny is that they've retrofitted these thermostats in every room here now, so you can actually control these older PTAC units from a wall thermostat. Not even sure how they made those work on all these existing units. But anyway, that is it. That's it. All right. We're going to get the pull-out sofa official Jason review. I might just sleep on the couch itself. <laughs> Ow. Oh, it's like it's like a whole. Oh, it's like way backwards. It's like I'm like leaning up. <laughs> it looks like you're leaning up, actually. I feel like I'm like. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what you could do is put the pillows on this That's side. That's what I was actually thinking. Can I use the pillows somehow? Let's see. Well, I mean, like, put your head up here. And your feet down there and do it backwards. Yeah, it's like, like if angle. It's... it's like tipped over. All right. I made it up all nice. I wrecked it. Yeah, the second he got in. So what do you think? Uh, <laughs> I got a discount. <laughs> now you're paying for it. Actually, not as bad. The bar is, the bar is like down here now. Yeah. So I it think just hurts my leg. As stupid as it is, I think this pullout is actually better when you sleep on it backwards. Remember I said this was going to get broken? Yeah. Yeah, my feet stick out the back. <laughs> I told you it wouldn't last. <laughs> well, hey, I made it all nice with, like, hospital corners and had it all perfect, so I, told I you did my part. It would last about two seconds. All right. <laughs>